I know a lot of you guys already have stuff prepped, which is great. I am going to start from scratch so that people who are not prepped can go all the way through with us. So, I think, I mean, we have like half the people, but I'm going to say we're going to start because I told you guys that we were starting. Uh, so, starting off, I have my little piece of cardboard. Uh, you don't need to have it be this small. Technically, you could cut it from a larger piece, and but it's easier to cut it out of a smaller piece. So you're going to take your piece of cardboard, and if you have the circle templates, you'll do this, you'll trace your this part off of your circle templates, but I'm going to do it with a cup today because lots of people have cups. So you're going to take your cup, you're going to put it down, you're going to take your pencil and trace your cup, which is great. So we now have a lovely circle that hopefully you guys can see. Pretty great. So this I will cut out in a moment. We're also going to have our piece of paper. This isn't necessarily absolutely necessary, but it gives uh, makes decorating them easier. So on your piece of paper you're going to trace two circles as you do. Alrighty, we now have two circles! Pretty great. So, pretty sure most of you guys are already at this point, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to continue on. Oh, so, yes, I hear that you have uh, a pattern paper. Pattern paper is fine because we're going to decorate it anyways. So as long as you're fine decorating pattern paper, it's great. Um, I just have printer paper, so I'm just going to use printer paper, but it doesn't matter. So I have my lovely colored pencils. Um, doesn't so we have uh paper. My brain is lost. Uh, when decorating it, it doesn't really matter how you decorate it. Um, you can, we have, here's an example that we made a little while ago, just to get this going. Um, one thing to keep in mind is the colors will mix in rings like this. So like on this one where the points come in, like right here, the blue and the yellow will mix to make like a green color when it's spinning so you can play with that as you are decorating your spinners but you don't have to you can make your spinners look like whatever you want um yes so i'm going to decorate my spinners now and we can just hang out and color for a bit and this is how it is so great Oh, one thing to note, uh, if you make your pattern where you can find the center of the circle a little bit easier, it'll be easier to poke the holes for the yarn later. So that is something you can take into account, although it's not ultra important to do. So, just to give, this is a thing that I am trying, I don't know if it'll work or not, but I am doing, I'm going to try and make rainbow rings, but I have, so right here I have the yellow and the red, so in theory that'll mix together and make orange. I'm not 100% sure if it'll work or not, but we're going to try it and see, because that's what's fun about these, is you can experiment with all your colors and designs, and at the end of the 
day, it doesn't matter a whole bunch because it's going to be a spinning mess. And so you can make it look like whatever you want it to. So, I have finished one of my circles. Does not look like much right now, but hopefully it'll look like more when it's spinning. Um, I'm going to leave the other one blank right now because I know some people already have their circles decorated. So I'm going to move on for their sakes. But feel free to decorate both. You can take as much time as you want. So, what we're going to do now is we have our circle of cardboard. I'm going to take my lovely scissors. If you haven't, don't already have this cut out, go ahead and cut it out now. And uh, the circle doesn't need to be perfectly round as long as it is mostly round, then you will be good to go. <laughs> is always so part of the reason why to uh, I cut this piece of cardboard smaller is because you can then bend as you cut and it makes the cutting part a lot easier as I have learned and then you have your circle almost So, we got our circle. So, now we're going to cut out our two trace circles, or our two pattern circles, if you haven't done so already. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So your circle, in theory, should fit pretty perfectly over your cardboard circle. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my other one as well. Why not? Alrighty, we now have two paper circles and a cardboard circle. So now what you are going to do is take your glue. Uh, you don't have to have liquid glue, you could just use a glue stick. Either way, take your glue and you are going to put it all over your cardboard circle. You want a decent amount because you don't want your paper to come up. Make sure you get real close to the edges. So we have our our glue all on there. You're now going to glue your paper onto your cardboard. So you're going to set it on, rub it down real good. I found rubbing it around on something flat like this helps seal it on and we got one side done so now we're going to do the other side in theory this other circle that i have that right now is blank would be have a pattern on it already as i'm sure all of you do so this one should have a pattern on it we're going to do the same thing again, place our circle on our cardboard, press it down a little bit, circle on something flat to seal it, get it all squished down. Now we have a disc with two pattern sides, in theory. Use your imagination, this has total patterns. So. I think we have everyone ready. So, we are now going to measure and cut the yarn or string or whatever you are using for your spinner. And longer string, a longer string is easier to get started but a little bit harder to keep going. Um, but shorter string is 
harder to get started, but a little easier to get going. Uh, so you want something quite kind of in the middle. What I've found is if you do like three lengths of your arm for here, which let's see if I can do with only one hand. Um, where'd that go? Right here. So we have three lengths. So then I'm going to cut it here. And this will be the length of my yarn. I have here. So now at this point, if you are using a darning needle to poke your holes through, go ahead and put your yarn in your needle. Like so. And I'll show you how to poke holes with just a pencil as well, because not everyone has a darning needle. So, we have our darning needle, we have our circle. My circle, I drew my cross a little off center, but my center is about here. So we're going to go not in the very center, but just slightly off. And if you're doing a darning needle, you can just poke straight through, which is a little bit hard. Oh, come on. So you're going to poke all the way through, wiggle the needle around a little bit, and push all the way through. If you're using a pencil or something like that, poke the hole first, and then you can use your pencil or whatever to poke the yarn through. I have not tested this, so I'm not 100% sure on the effect of these. Um, if you're having issues, though, you can also put a small piece of tape around the end of your yarn so that it doesn't fray and poke it through that way. But that is step one. Uh, the straw is not necessary, it's uh, sort of recommended just because when you're doing the actual spinning part, here I'll show on this one, uh, if you don't have the straw when you do the spinning part, the yarn will wrap around, it wraps around tight around your fingers. So it doesn't necessarily hurt, but after you've been spinning for a while, it can start to rub on your fingers. So if you have the straw, the straw just adds that little bit of extra protection of such, um, and then your fingers don't hurt as fast. But it's not, you can do it without it, it'll be fine. Uh, the straw length doesn't matter too much. Uh, you don't want it super duper long because then it'll take up too much room on your string. So I would say maybe do, if you have your fingers, you want maybe four fingers or so. Um, and you'll eventually only use like three or two to do the actual spinner, but this part will bend around your fingers and protect them. So we have our straw. My straw is a bendy straw, so I'm going to cut off the bendy part. We don't need that part. We have here. Now we just have a straight straw. We need two handles, so we're just going to cut it in half like this. And, oh, come on, bam, I now have two handles, and I'm going to pause here and let everyone What we're going to do now is, you have to put on one of the handles, do you have your straw, and then move on a little bit, and you're going to go, um, Pull your string, which this part is actually easier without the needle. Um, you're going to push your string through your straw till it comes out the other side. So now you have circle, string, straw, string. I'm going to put it, actually, I'm going to try the other way. Now we're going to move on. Um, so we have our center, our point that is a little bit off center. So what you're going to do now is 
put another hole in. I'm going to do it with a pencil this time to show that method. Uh, but you want it about, if you're a little kid, it'll be about a finger width apart. If you're an adult, it's like a pinky width mm. or so. So you're going to space it so that you're still crossing that center point, but you're just a little farther away. And poke your holes. Ugh. Come on, pencil. Ugh. So you have your second hole that is a little bit farther from your first one, but it's not too bad. And we have, so now we have circle, string, straw, string. And you're going to put this end of the string back through the hole you just made or pull through with the needle. So we have that here. So now you have this, on this side, you have a little circle part, I guess you could say, uh, where the there's two strings coming out and you have your handle. So now, and then on this side, you have two, just two string ends. And they're just being by themselves. All right. I'll go ahead and pause here and let you guys catch up. Um, yes, I can show a close-up of the circle. So, ooh, I gotta get closer to you guys. One second. Alrighty. So here is close-up of one side. This side has the blank ends on it. So you should have both cut sides on one side now, and then on the other side you have a, it comes out, goes through the straw, and then goes back in. Carry on. So now we have, this is the side with our two cut ends. Doesn't matter on which end, but you're going to take your other straw handle. And you're going to thread it through, just like you did on the other side. So we're now making our second handle. So we now have circle, string, straw, string, again. And then on the other side, it's just a string. So, final step. We have our two cut ends, and we're gonna tie them in a knot. I would recommend double knotting, because then they don't come apart as uh, easily. And we are basically done. So you have the knot. I like sliding the knot so it's right on the... Uh, right on the circle, but you could also slide it inside your handle. And now we just gotta even out our handles a little bit. Henry. So they're about equal. And once you guys are ready, I'll show you how to work your spinner. Ready. So we have our spinners. And you're gonna hold them. That's not very sorry. We're gonna hold them like this to get them started. You just keep going in a loop. And you can see, oh no, don't start spinning. It'll be all twisted like this. I have to hold it so that it doesn't start untwisting itself. But it starts twisting the yarns. And then you just pull out. And it should. Unwind and then rewind. I need to read it again. And when it starts rewinding, release so that it can rewind. And then pull tight to unwind it again. And if you keep going a few more times, you can get it going real nice. And it'll start making a humming sound. Let's see if you can hear. And 
that's our spanner. That's our spinner toy. And then when you are all done spinning for the day, you just hold it tight and open, and then it'll unwind itself. And that's all that. And you can, while you're spinning, you can look at your sides, and all the colors should make up, mix up. And make cool patterns as you're spinning. It's pretty nifty. So, that's our craft for today. I'm going to leave it there. If you guys are still having issues, let me know. Um, and I would love to see guys, videos of all you guys doing your spinners and what, how your spinners turned out. So, post them on the chat and then we all can see our awesome spanners.